successful leadership comes from groups of faculty with common interests that take the initiative, they come together, they share resources, advise one another's students. And then they tapped into a program in Michigan called M-Cubed, the Center for RNA Biomedicine. It's a great example of this leadership. So thank you for the opportunity to help launch a spectacular new research center at the University of Michigan. Talked about microRNA, messenger RNA, siRNA, long non-coding RNA. They're all part of the RNA revolution. But this drumbeat goes on. We now have this incredible wealth of information about the genetic basis of human disease. The questions are multiplying, not answers, questions. The questions are huge, high-risk, high-reward problems that really need a number of people from different disciplines to, to answer. There is an extraordinary amount of really impactful work between RNA and medicine and between RNA and science that an RNA center can nucleate. For me as a neurologist, RNA is just so important because most of our neurodegenerative diseases now, we understand, are based on RNA biology. But my special interest is on the differential splicing of the RNA products that are translated into proteins mm -hmm. and govern a very different array of activities. Products from the same gene. From the same gene. The University of Michigan has a lot of excellence in a lot of different places. Oftentimes, however, those areas of excellence are isolated from one another. The Center for RNA Biomedicine at the University of Michigan will bring people together across disciplines, educate the next generation of RNA scientists, help them develop new research projects, and recruit the best talent from around the world to the University of Michigan. No one can really do this research on their own anymore. We need, you know, the basic scientists, to the engineers, to the clinicians. In 1999, Nils Walter and I set up a meeting between a number of different groups who were interested in RNA. The RNA supergroup came out of the labs doing really the hardcore basic science on RNA. It's really been a way of sort of beginning to build the RNA community at Michigan. Now we're moving into this decade and it's realized the role of RNA in diseases. So there's been a lot of interest by more clinically oriented groups to know more about RNA. We're just starting to learn about what 98% of the RNA do and they are involved in controlling all kinds of cellular processes. RNAs can be catalytic, they can be structural, they're the base of protein synthesis, but most of all they connect DNA and proteins. It's amazing actually, all the different kinds of things that RNAs do. We basically have 50,000, 80,000 new molecules that we virtually have no idea what they're doing. When you develop a new technology, it's sort of like putting a street light where you can shine light on areas where you've never seen before. The technology is really proficient now at telling us a lot of information about what RNA is doing. We're able to map the entire structure of very large complexes containing RNA and proteins. Just in the last couple of years, these new techniques have opened the door to solving the structures, three-dimensional structures of a lot of these assemblies. RNA plays a very big role in diseases like cancer, ALS, autism, to just name a few. Expression of genes, upregulation, downregulation is a core aspect of many, many diseases, including cancer. So having a mechanism that is now trying to upregulate or downregulate genes would also then have implications for disease. In order to test our hypothesis that, you know, what we are seeing here is not limited to this one gene, to do so you really need many other skill sets. The expertise is all there on campus, but not just in our lab, and so it's a matter of us reaching out, and the RNA Center would really be the glue that would allow that to happen. This university has people in the forefront of many of these subfields that are necessary to combine in order to make an impact 
in complex biology. The Center for RNA Biomedicine can be a catalyst for the vision where the sum of the parts becomes bigger than individual parts. We have the infrastructure here to really go after these problems and be able to make a significant impact. The University of Michigan is one of the most comprehensive and excellent research universities in the world. Centers like this one bring people together from many different fields in a way that will advance the research and also the teaching and make new discoveries.